I moved almost every year when I was growing up, and I'm pretty sure I attended at least five schools before arriving at Hotchkiss, which fatefully brought me to you. So it was a weekend reunion at our boarding school. It was my five year, his 10 year reunion. She came over and introduced herself. I actually left for grad school in London the next morning. As you left for London, I was deflated, thinking that I would never see you again. When she moved back to the United States, she moved back to New York. We decided to start dating long distance at that time. And it was funny because he was like, you're going to move to Austin. And I was like, absolutely not. I'm, not. I'm not moving to Texas. And then COVID happened. And I was like, I'll just stay with you for a few weeks until this blows over. First, it was temporary. And, you know, as COVID stretched on, it became more permanent. If you can live with someone through a global pandemic and like genuinely enjoy their company and not go crazy, that's a pretty good sign. <laughs> hey, you look incredible. She's someone who's extremely empathetic. She is someone who will really go out of her way to help someone in need. He's confident, he's interesting, and he's wicked smart. Honestly, what more could you ask for in a man? With every passing moment, I just, it becomes so much more obvious like how much of a true match you two are. I believe you found in each other what you were always looking for, someone to love deeply, someone who had the same values and goals, making a home, having a family. Do you, Sabrina, take Marshall to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. And do you, Marshall, take Sabrina to be your lawfully wedded wife. I do. I promise to care for you, and I promise to help build a healthy, happy family with you. I will always be your battle buddy in your corner working with you to build a dream that I never could have imagined on my own. By the authority vested in me by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Last thing I want to say is that dad is not here, and that is tough. Dad would be really proud of you, and we're all proud of you for him. You've already proven to be a formidable team as you confront life's challenges and make plans for your future together. May your journey together be filled with laughter, adventure, and an abundance of love.
I love you both, and cheers to the happy couple. <laughs>